Alright, thank you. Thank you, thank you for silence. Home tools, thank you for silence. Uh, by show of hands, let me see how men are feeling happy. No intimidation, just be sincere. It is normal. What you are feeling is very normal. How many are feeling happy? Thank you. Thank you. No talking. Remember, it is mental health. Not following instructions again means there is a problem. How many are feeling confused? Just be sincere. Thank you. How many are feeling unhappy? Unhappy? Thank you. <laughs> lastly, lastly, how many are not sure of their feelings? They have mixed feelings. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to take uh, not less uh, than two minutes and not more than five minutes to talk about mental health. To start with, to the four months I know we've not met in such a platform, my name is Dennis Ondari, uh, a mental health advocate. You can always get more content in my YouTube channel, Dennis Ondari. This morning, I'm here to remind you that mental health is real and from time to time we all get to experience what you are feeling right now. Being unhappy at times, it is okay. Being confused, it is okay. Having mixed feelings, it is okay. So what are you supposed to do as a student? Anytime you have such feelings, they should be in moderation. Because if your mental health is not well taken care of, then it will push you to the next level. So very fast, uh, some of the common causes of mental health problems cutting across the youth, children, and even adults. I'll just highlight them, I won't explain, and then give a way forward. We have poverty, we have bereavement, that is losing a loved one, child abuse or trauma, some of us have been abused either as young boys or even at home as, you know, teenagers. Silence. Silence. Thank you. We have neglect or neglection, social isolation. Some people feel left out in every other thing. We have discrimination and stigma. Based on a number of issues, people get discriminated. Long-term stress, sickness of all nature, it doesn't matter. We have domestic violence and assault. Then we have physical injury. So these are some of the common causes of mental health problems. Lastly, what are we supposed to do? Because this is a discussion we can't just have in uh, 10 minutes and exhaust. We are here. Exams are coming. Anxiety is building up. We are feeling like it is too much. You know, that push that comes. So as a student, just have that positive mind, have that open mind. If you are feeling sad, reach out for help. If you are feeling discriminated, reach out for help. I was happy the other time I was going around from three block and I was able to gather views from the boys. And I was happy to give them a listening ear. And I'm sure we moved a step further. So teachers are here, your students are there, your fellow students. You can always speak to someone so that that anxiety doesn't weigh you down. It only needs you to be positive, and get to do things in good time. Because right now the anxiety could be about your midterm exam. So you still have like three days. 
you can overturn or turn things around. Just you by the well, be your neighbor's keeper. Lastly, kindness, kindness, kindness. Do you know what it means? Boys, do you know what kindness means? Will you want someone to be kind to you? Will you? Now be kind to your neighbor. I wish you a blessed week and let us have a positive mind. Thank you.